Hello, everybody. It is Captain Marty. It is Wednesday, October the 2nd, and it is a lot to talk about on the fishing front. The fleet was small. The weather, swell, and the fact that it's a Monday in October had something to do with it. But I'll tell you all about that in just a moment. Teacher's Lair Marina in Hatteras Village is the closest spot on the Outer Banks to the Gulf Stream. Just inside Hatteras Inlet, Teacher's Lair is fully loaded with bait, tackle, ice, snacks, and drinks for your fun-filled day out on the water. Want to get rigged up to catch the big one? Lee and the gang in the tackle shop can outfit you to catch whatever is eager to get hooked. To see the marina, the tackle shop, or to book a charter, go online to teacheslair.com. Teacher's Lair Marina in Hatteras Village. Your fishing venture awaits. Real. That's the first word that comes to mind when I think about Outland Seafood in Mans Harbor. Yeah, they're the first and last place you see coming to and leaving the Outer Banks on Highway 64 in Dare County, but they're also real when it comes to fresh local seafood. Troy Outland, real. Curtis and Josh, real. The indoor crab shedders, real. Stop by and see for yourself right next to White Shopping Center and check them out on social media. Outland Seafood in Mans Harbor, real. So the catches have been varied from the offshore to the inshore to the piers and surf. The only thing that's really staying exactly the same is our sound fishing. We'll get to that a little bit later in today's podcast. But the Hattersleet has been doing very well on the Wahoo fishing. And if they focus on it, they're catching... Well, some of the boats are catching limits of Wahoo. I think that's two per person, but double figures are not unheard of. And you have to keep in mind that a Wahoo, to me, is a true game fish. Hatteras is the Wahoo capital of the world, in my opinion. And some of those folks down there, like Captain Jesse on the uh, Carolina Girl, are really, really good at catching those things. But when they're not catching Wahoo, they're rounding out their catches with uh, a lot of dolphin, baler-sized dolphin mostly, but a few gaffers mixed in. And then they're dropping up in side a little bit and doing well on king mackerel and king mackerel is a fall fishery that'll that'll be here through thanksgiving or later probably and then i noticed uh, in a couple uh, look like a couple boats have been doing some bottom fishing catching two really really good fish to eat really there's really no bad fish but trigger fish which is one of my very favorites if you haven't heard about them you happen to see some in a fish market and think what are those you better buy them because that's the best eating fish in the ocean all they eat is shrimp and crabs and that's just what they taste like too and then beeliners they're snappers and they're red i'm not sure if they're red snappers but beeliners are a, a real real fun fish to catch they're small usually a couple pounds they're red and they're very very good to eat the Oregon Inland fleet has been doing great on their dolphin fishing and really a lot of billfish activity it's been a, a wide area from Ocean City Maryland down to Rudy Inlet which is Virginia Beach it's been really good I saw somebody yesterday had two blue marlin and eight white marlin I saw a boat a couple days ago had 19 billfish our fleet we've been hitting in the four to six range and it's been mostly white marlin which I as you know if you listen to my program we've been waiting on those for a while it's a really fun marlin to catch it's a smaller a big one would be seven feet long and maybe 70 pounds Uh, the average one is about six and a half feet long and probably 50 pounds they're closer to a sailfish usually than they are a average size blue marlin but there's still a few blue marlin being caught and uh i don't see any change in that even though we're into october and as soon as the yellow fin tuna show up that's the interest is going to go in that direction but right now catching a billfish is on your bucket list i cannot think of a better time to go so keep that in mind inshore ribbon fish and bluefish are still plentiful there's still some big drum being caught there's still a scattered cobia as well so again variety is the spice of life now on to the piers really same report we've been given every day big drum big red drum are still biting they'll be here for a while that's mostly on the end of the piers a lot of that fishing done at night but they're also catching a few big bluefish a few tailor bluefish occasionally they're catching a the black drum in those catches as well so they got that going on and like the surf fishing there if you're a little bit closer in on the pier and you're not out there competing for a red drum a big drum with a heavy heaver uh, there's a nice mix of pompano sea mullet spot croakers a few speckled trout a few puppy drum the smaller size red drum stuff like that along with your skates and sharks and that's pretty much north to south there's been a couple days we've had 
a good old fashioned bluefish blitz and um, loving to hear that. There's not much more fun than going down to the surf when the blues are biting. You know, a whole fall industry was built around that for many, many years. So we're tickled to death to see this happening, to see it seems like the bluefish are trying to make a comeback. So that's really, really good. We'll take a break right here, and I'll be back to talk to you about backcountry fishing, meaning anything other than the ocean. Come and experience fishing for the whole family aboard the Crystal Dawn at Pirates Cove Marina in Manio. The Crystal Dawn is a roomy 65 foot head boat, fully equipped with the latest gear to give you the best fishing experience. Worried about getting seasick? Fear not. The Crystal Dawn stays in safer and shallower waters to lessen the likelihood of that happening. Half day and private fishing trips are available. To find out more, go online to crystaldawnheadboat.com. The Crystal Dawn Headboat out of Pirates Cove fishing that is fun for all ages so my friends down there that are backcountry guides in hatteras they've been doing they've had a great summer and they are really really doing well on speckled trout and puppy drum mostly occasionally a big drum but if anybody knows how to catch a speckled trout it's that crowd and they had good catches yesterday we had good catches of i mentioned the puppy drum we had some bluefish in the catches and then as you work up the sound there's more there's some big drums still being caught again late in the afternoon into the evening and just after dark as they feed uh, like most fish do at sunset along those shoals and so you know there are people i i rigged up some friends with a guide over here in hyde county this week and for them that's the cheapest way in the world to go fishing because um, if you look at what a boat payment costs and and all the gear and the tackle you can book a boat do your due diligence and your research and get the right boat but you can book a backcountry boat you could go with a guide 10 times a year with a guide and do it cheaper learn more and catch more fish than you could do it doing it yourself i know what you're saying i like to do it on my own well i do too i get that but great way to learn is to go with a professional so keep that in mind and uh we didn't talk about sheephead there's been a lot of sheephead especially on the bonner bridge pier and any other place or structure this is the time of year when sheephead really like to bite i don't think that they're migratory i think they stick around but they also eat nothing but shrimp and crabs so they're really good they're a member of the porgy family and you're going to need if you want to really get into fishing for them you're going to need some crab live little fiddler crabs are the best but oyster crabs which are real close to the same thing you go down around a a rough shoreline turn rocks over and catch the crabs that's really really good and a, a, a tip i haven't said in a while is if you're somewhere in a boat fishing around pilings or structure of any kind take a shovel with you a flat shovel works best and scrape the barnacles off of the pylons and it's the best chum you can ever imagine for a sheephead let it sink to the bottom then put your crab down and uh, be ready because like the old guy told me when i was a little boy if you really want to catch a a sheephead and be good at it you got to jerk right before they bite so keep that in mind and that's what's going on in our fishing report today we will keep you posted as we get into the weekend let you know what's happening i hope you have a blessed day